mocks are coming up fast and whether you're doing A levels or your GCSEs, it can feel like there's far too much to remember and fit in in the time that you have left. So that's why in this video, I'm going to break down exactly how you can revise for your mocks, how to split your time, what to focus on so that you can make sure every revision session is the most effective possible to get you those top grades. Hey everyone and welcome back to Miss Estrick Biology. I'm Miss Estrick and I've been teaching biology since 2009 and I'm going to be sharing with you my top tips for GCSE and A-level mock revision. If you are new here then don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my latest top tip videos. And as a little heads up I am running one GCSE and two A-level mock revision live masterclasses with pre-questions, lesson slides, a live lesson and the recording. All of those sessions are only 99p. So if you want to sign up to any of these sessions the link's in the description below. Most GCSE and A-level students have their mock exams in December and January. Some of you have them in November as well. So we're going to be looking at how you can prepare for these mocks. And the whole point of mock exams isn't just to force you to revise and to see how well you're doing, although that is part of the point. It's basically like a trial run to give you the confidence when it gets to the actual exam of what it will feel like when you are sat in the exam hall for real. Get you practicing in exam conditions, knowing can you actually complete everything in the time allotted? And so you can then fine tune your revision after your exams to focus on what you really need the most help on. Now here's the biggest mistake I see students make when it comes to revising for their mocks and that is focusing too much just on watching YouTube videos like my entire topic ones and just rereading notes and thinking well I've covered all the theory now because I've watched all the videos and I've read all the notes and then they don't do very well and they wonder why. So let me actually go through with you how you can still use your notes and YouTube videos but in a much better way plus other levels to that revision to make sure you get those top grades. So we're essentially talking about how to revise smarter, not necessarily more. Although it doesn't hurt to do a bit more, particularly if you're not doing a lot at the moment. And I'll come back to that later in this video, how much you should be revising and when. So let's first of all talk about how you should be splitting your time. And here's my golden rule of three, how you should be splitting your revision. You should be spending 20% of your revision time understanding the information. And this is where you can use YouTube videos and reading your notes but only 20% of your revision time should be based on this and even when you are doing that try not to be just completely passive watching the video just letting it wash over you it'd be better if you were watching the video pause maybe made a note of a key point or made a flashcard or made a mind map as you're we watching it and if you're using notes then reading through it maybe turn it into flashcards basically doing something to actively test you do understand the information then we move on to the remembering stage and this should be about 40% of your revision time spent remembering the information that you've just understood and this is where active recall is key meaning actively testing yourself so things like using flashcards or blurting or you might see my active recall workbook anything where you don't get to look at the information first but you have to recall the facts and see what did you remember spot on what did you not remember anything you didn't remember you redo over and over and over until you do remember it. So 40% of your time is based on remembering. And by the way, I do have flashcards for both GCSE and A-level. So if you don't have the time to make them, those are linked in the description. And then finally, the last 40% should be practicing and that means exam questions. So 40% of your time should be doing past papers or just bundles of exam questions, which I've got for free on my website for GCSE and A-level. And that might be, first of all, you do some exam exam questions, not in timed conditions, and if you get stuck, you can look back at your notes and then try it without your notes and in timed conditions. And a rough estimate is 1.3 minutes per mark for AQA A-level. But if you're not doing AQA A-level, all you need to do is have a look at one of your exam papers, how long it is, how many marks there are, and divide in minutes by the number of marks, and that tells you the average time you should be spending per mark on a pack of questions. So that's the best way to split it. 20 on understanding, 40 on remembering, 40 on practice exam questions. And that doesn't mean necessarily you have to do in one hour of revision, 20% on the understanding, 40 on remembering, 40 on exam questions. It might be more a rough estimate of, I'm going to spend an hour now on the understanding, but that means later on, I'm mainly just focusing on remembering and on practice exam questions not going back to the understanding so it's just like a rough idea either do it as chunks over time 
time. Or maybe you are going to do one hour and split it that way every time. See what works best for you. And actually just on the doing the practice and the exam questions, you need to make sure you are marking your exam questions so strictly and exactly what the mark scheme says because that's how they're marked in real life. And so you need to be doing this to get an accurate reflection of your strengths and weaknesses so you know how to improve. And if you're not sure exactly how to do the marking, I do have this video here on understanding the mark scheme that talks through exactly how to mark your exam questions. So this idea of how to revise for the mocks, to make it simple, I do get asked all the time, which of my resources, if you wanted to go ahead and get my resources, would be most useful. And I'd say when you're getting to the point of mocks and exams, it's the big three bundle, because that's deliberately designed for this split, because it includes my notes, which helps with the 20% understanding, it includes my flashcards, which helps with the remembering, and it includes my active recall pack, which is a bit of a mix between the remembering and also the practice but you can also get the practice questions for free as well. So make sure you are either subscribed to my email list or on Instagram or subscribe on here so you don't miss the notification of what the coupon code is that will go live on the 27th of November, 40% off any of my digital download products. So now let's move on to revision plans themselves. And if you're a GCSE student and if you're an A-level student, how much revision you should be doing and what that might look like as a revision timetable. And don't panic. I know I love revision timetables. I know a lot of you don't. You don't literally have to copy this. It's to give you a bit of an idea of how you can maybe tweak it to see what works for you. So if you have your GCSE mocks in mid-December, I'd be recommending that from now you are spending two to five hours per week revising biology. So that's roughly 30 to 60 minutes per day or you could save some time for the weekend and do more at the weekend. Now for GCSE I do think this is actually quite a bit harder because you've got potentially 10 subjects you have to revise for and you can't do 10 subjects for half an hour every day. So you might want to alternate that 30 minutes between biology, chemistry and physics to tick off all of the sciences rather than 30 minutes every day for biology. If your mocks aren't until January then you've got a bit more time to spread this out more and make the most of your two weeks holidays over December and early January. And during that time, try and do a bit of revision each day. Obviously take off if you celebrate Christmas, you're going to want to take off the days around Christmas, days around New Year, you might want to take weekends off, but you should be trying to do at least five to 10 of the days during the holidays, you're revising as a GCSE student at least four hours. Now for the A-level students. If your mocks are in December, you should be aiming for five to 10 hours per week revision of biology. And yes, I realize that sounds like a lot, but remember that is including 20% of the time watching videos, using the notes, 40% of the time using flashcards or active recall blurting, and then 40% of the time exam questions. And that could be one of your study periods per day at school, that's five days, that ticks off the revision. Or one hour after school per day, that ticks off the revision. Or as I said for GCSE, if you want to shift it so you do more at the weekend, you could do it that way. If you do have your exams in December, you should be well into the 40% of your time spent on practice exam questions. That is now the main bulk of your time because by now you should understand everything. If you don't, don't panic, go back and watch the bits that you're not sure on. But now is the time to really be focusing on your exam technique. If your exams are in January, then just like I said for GCSE, you've got a bit more time. You've got that Christmas holiday period. But as I said to the GCSE students, you might want to take off the days around Christmas, days around New Year, and then the midweek days in between. That is when you could be spending for A-level students a minimum five hours revision per day. That is not just for biology, by the way. That is all of your subjects, I should clarify. So for example, one of your days of revision might be two hours of biology. Then it might be two hours of maths. Then it might be two hours of chemistry. That's six hours done, all the revision for that day is ticked off. And if you want even more help from me, I am running mock masterclass revision sessions for GCSE and A-level students. And the best bit, they are only 99p for a solid hour of revision with me. GCSE, we have got one revision session, which is focused on topic three, looking at infectious diseases. And why did I pick that topic? I spoke to AQA examiners and asked them which topics do students find the hardest and lose the most marks 
on and they said that topic. So I've picked that one to boost your grade the most. A-level students, you've got two sessions. One of them is based on exam techniques, so application and critical analysis questions. And the other one is based on photosynthesis because most of you probably have that as a topic in your mock. And there's a lot of key things that you need to know for the exam that I've got examiner tips on. So if you want to come along to these sessions, I will be sending you some pre-questions that you can choose to do before the lesson. You will get lesson slides, you will get an hour live lesson, and you automatically get the recording as well. All of that for 99p, and it's linked in the description below to start signing up now so you don't miss out. So that is it for today's video. Hopefully you found it helpful. Best of luck with your revision, and I've got more top tips to come.